Gona's Reading Ranch. Join us weekly for reading adventures around the farm. And don't forget, go to our website and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Hi friends, welcome to Gona's Reading Ranch. Today we are going to head to Texas where we are going to read about a rodeo time. It's by Stuart J. Murphy and David T. Wenzel. Love, love, love this book. And I think you are going to love it too. So let's start reading. Rodeo Time by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by David T. Wenzel. Katie and Cameron couldn't wait for the rodeo to start. This year they weren't just going to watch, they were going to do all sorts of jobs for their uncle, Cactus Joe, the best bull rider in Texas. The night before the rodeo began, Cactus Joe came by to tell them about their first chore, to water the horses before the bareback bronc riding event. It starts at three, so be there at two sharp, he said. You'll need an hour to get the job done. Katie made a schedule so they'd be sure to be on time. Katie and Cameron loved the parade and the grand entry. They were the last to leave the stands. We better get lunch quickly so we can make it to our job on time, said Katie. I want a burrito, Cameron said. No, no, barbecue, no chili, no. Cameron changed his mind at every stand. Katie had finished her taco before her brother finally bought a chicken fried steak sandwich. Just before Cameron took his first bite, Katie looked at her watch. Oh no, she yelled. It's way past two. We've got to go. When Katie and Cameron got to the holding pen, there was Cactus Joe. Sorry, cow pokes, he said. You were late. So I watered the horses myself. Katie and Cameron felt terrible. They climbed into the stands for the bareback bronc riding. We have to do better tomorrow, Katie said. That night, after the campfire sing-along, Cactus Joe asked, Want to try again? He then gave them a job for the following day, catching the calves that got loose on their way to the calf roping, which started at three. You'll have to be there by 2.30 pronto, he said. Cameron made another schedule. Katie and Cameron cheered for the barrel racers. They both got chili for lunch. But at the livestock show, Cameron stopped to look at the prize-winning chickens. And Katie lingered at a pen full of lambs. Then Cameron looked at his watch. Oh, no, he said. We've only got ten minutes. Just on time, said Cactus Joe as Katie and Cameron ran up. All the calves were herded out of the barn and toward the arena. Good work said Cactus Joe. I guess you're ready for a real important job tomorrow. That night, after the fiddling contest, Cactus Joe told them about their biggest job yet, handing out the ribbons for the bull riding championship. Cactus Joe's special event. You'll have to be at the grandstand at exactly 4.45, he said. Why don't you put at the end time of each event in your schedule so you'll be sure to make it? Katie and Cameron cheered for the bull riders, ate as much barbecue as they could hold, and whooped for the saddle bronc riders. But they kept a careful eye on the time. A little before 4.15, Katie said, Let's leave early so we have plenty of time to get to the grandstand. But then a bunch of clowns came by on bicycles. Uh, excuse us, we need to get through, said Katie, but no one could hear her. Then came the sheep. Hey, watch out, said Cameron. Hurry up, yelled Katie. They started to run, but Cameron didn't see the blue ribbon pig. Katie landed right on top of Cameron. Now we'll never make it, he wailed. What's wrong? asked one of the clowns, sweeping up on his bicycle. Katie explained. We'll be late, she said sadly, and we tried so hard to be on time. You won't be late, said the clown. Climb on. And Katie and Cameron sped off toward the arena on the back of the clown's back. Yee-haw, shouted Cameron. They made it just in time to watch the bull riding up close. Afterward, Katie and Cameron together pinned the blue ribbon on the bull riding champion, their uncle, Cactus Joe. The end. Well, 
I think they made it on time. They did a really good job keeping to their schedule. Do you ever have a schedule like getting up in the morning or maybe having to get to school on time? Schedules are really important. So maybe you could ask your mama to help you make a schedule so you never miss an important date or an important event. Okay, see you next time. Bye, friends.